All right, guys, it's your boy Alan Wade. Thank you so much for joining me. I have an exciting video for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope you guys were looking forward to it. This is the battle of the 15 by 15 presses with slide out drawer feature. Manual presses, 15 by 15 slide out drawer feature. All right, if it's your first time here, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for what's in store right after the intro. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Boom, 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 boom. just like that. Hey, 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 productions, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Hey, Dub, you ready? Wait a minute. Let us announce our presses. We have the Heat Press Nation manual 15 by 15 heat press with slide out drawer all right and over here we have the heat transfer warehouse manual press 15 by 15 while i press with the slide out drawer both 15 by 15 both slide out drawer both manual presses direct competitors to each other now most people, when they first get into the uh, heat pressing uh, field, t-shirt making, garment decorating, right? You get your um, Amazon or your eBay press, your basic $189, maybe $210 presses, right? And then you see everybody else in the industry and they have like auto open, slide out drawers, swing aways and stuff like that. And you want one of those. So most people, if you're like me, I desired a heat press with a slide out drawer like one of these ones that was like oh that was a thing that I wanted right so um, after I was done with my all black press which you guys saw me use for years which still works by the way that was an eBay press that I bought man over 10 years ago still works I, I don't want to say I love the press but I love the press because of what it did for me right so the old press still work but we want the slide out drawer feature because it's convenient you don't have to reach in under that platen and it, it's just great the step up from this is obviously auto auto open press right so um i'd like to think that this is everybody's second heat press that they get with the, the one with slide out drawer or some people might get the one with slide out drawer and the auto open feature right but okay let's start breaking this down so this is the Second press that I purchased, I liked it. It looked very clean, very nice, polished. I love the color scheme. Everything was, was, was really, really nice about this. I liked the way it looked. And I decided to go with the Heat Press Nation Craft Pro, right? Uh, only thing I wish I would have did differently was probably get the Craft Pro with the auto open or maybe the 15 by 15 signature series with the auto open, then we might not be having this conversation, right? Because they won't be in the same class because that was just would be auto open, but that's not what we're doing right here. We're comparing these presses. So let's go over this first and how I feel about this press after owning it for a while and um, whether or not I would recommend it to you guys. Okay, so let me first talk, start talking about the press. So when I first unboxed the, pre unboxed the press, I was excited and um, I loved it, but immediately what I noticed was as soon as I plugged it in and turned it on, this panel right here was not digital. It's like an analog panel, and I was immediately disappointed at that. There was an analog panel, and I don't know if you guys notice, like when I do my embroidery and stuff, and I, I sometimes stuff is kind of like weird colors and stuff. I'm, I'm a little colorblind. Well, I'm not a little, I'm colorblind, right? So um, I don't think it's colorblindness has anything to do with it, but, do with it, but um, this panel to me is hard to see because it's kind of like the numbers are always, like you kind of, you, you know how you have the analog stuff and you always see like the 888? This like right now as I'm looking at it from the side, I see 888, right? And then when you plug it in, it, brightens up just a little bit but it's still it's like an analogy type of feel and I think that for the price they should have put something in digital and that would have moved up a notch to me let me know if I'm complaining about something that is, is, is relevant but I've talked about this I did a whole video on this press already second thing that I didn't know 
that I did not like about this press, right? Is the fact that back here with the mechanics, nothing is covered. So therefore your clothes sometimes get snagged on the edges. Your clothes can get caught in the springs right here, which are exposed and your clothes can get snagged in on these sharp edges. And that was happening to me quite often when I was doing videos and when I was pressing stuff for clients. And that right there was the thing that made me realize I can't use this press in the long run because it was just, it was just really, really a pain in my behind for my clothes to get snagged on this. And yeah, that's why you guys don't see it in videos anymore. And the third thing that I hated about this press and I didn't like, I don't want to say hate it. I don't want to sound so mean, but I didn't like about this press is to me, it seems like the temperature is inaccurate because I would heat stuff up. I don't know if I was reading the gauge wrong, right? I don't think that's, that was the case though, no. But um, I would heat this thing up and I would go to press something and it wouldn't press right. And I'm thinking maybe, you know, I looked at, I, I pressed at the wrong time or whatever, but no. When I finally got a heat gun and I um, put the heat gun to it, the temperature was a little bit wacky. I don't know, but we're gonna do a test on this later on to see if uh, that holds true, right? So um, that's a few things that I didn't like about it, right? So the things that I did like about it, like I told you, looks really nice, great finish. And um, I also liked how smooth the slide out drawer function worked. I really like that a lot. Hey peoples and peepets, you are now tuned in to an A-Dub production. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It'll really help the channel. And if you want to see the hits as they come, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. You will not be disappointed. Back to your show. And there's one more thing that I didn't like about it. The location of this handle right here. This handle right here on the front is very, very useful. But to me, they should have pulled it out just a little bit. See how this one is kind of pulled out? They should have pulled this out just a little bit so you don't have to reach underneath. Like say when you're pressing something, you don't have to reach underneath to, uh, to grab the handle. It should be right there so you can just have a firm hold on, on things, okay? So those are the things that I did not like about this even though it looks good and everything, right? Okay, so that's it with the Craft Pro for Heat Press Nation. All right, let's go over here to Heat Transfer Warehouse's 15 by 15 manual while I press with a slide out drawer. This is a fairly new press. Um, this was just introduced to their market, I think like last year sometime. So it's a fairly new press, but I was amazed at the price, right? And I wanted it because I wanted to replace this and I wanted something small so I can put it up and down on the table as I'm doing videos, move it around. And my 16 by 20 press was just huge and, and just, it was just a pain to deal with to always carry around, to always like move stuff around. So, got this press, did the unboxing. Um, I like the way it looks. It doesn't look as nice and clean as polished as this. It's not as low profile as this. This, this has a lower stance, a lower footprint. It's, it's more compact, right? This one right here, the feet are extend wider than the Heat Press Nation Craft Pro. I mean, that's not a problem. The weights of the two are comparable, you know, but uh, this one has a wider foot base and it's, it's taller and it's wider, right? Um, this one looks better, obviously. But what I absolutely loved about this is, guess what? I had a digital gauge now. Came with a digital gauge, love that, right? And not only that, it was also cheaper than this one and it had a, a, a digital readout. Very, very, very easy to program this, to set the temperature and stuff. This one was a little bit, no, this one was easy too. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna say that. But also the digital gauge here is like, super sensitive, it's super, super easy to set this, this gauge. And I like the way it's, it's angled. It's not like angled up, which isn't a problem, that doesn't matter, but I like the fact that it's angled this way 
because when you pull this platen up, right, when you pull the platen up, you can, and you're standing over top of it, you can kind of still see this, and this isn't blocking that. It's weird to explain, but yeah. Um, I like the way, the way they uh, made the screen slant back, all right? Now, okay, the slide out drawer. Um, wait, we'll get to that. Uh, right over here in the back where that was exposed, that would um, cause the, cause the, the, the clothes to get jammed and, and, and snagged. This is covered up now. It's covered up and there's different slide out technology being used here. So you don't have to worry about your clothes being snagged, which is a huge, huge, huge plus for me. Now, let's go back, back to the drawer. I want you guys to listen. Hear that? Big difference here. So, this has better build quality. This is built a lot, I'm not gonna say cheaper, a lot less expensive, a lot more um, economical, right? So, you know, the technology is a bit more primitive, I guess, but I mean, it works, you get a slide out drawer. Another thing that I like about this, of course I don't like this, this, uh, this noise right here, but I tried to grease it, oil it, but um, that, that doesn't help at all, it still makes a loud noise. But um, that doesn't bother me too much. I don't, I don't get bothered by things like that. Another thing that I, that I really, uh, uh, that I really liked about this is where the handle is placed. The handle is not underneath the, uh, the, the platen anymore. See how this handle is underneath here? This handle is not underneath here. So that helps a lot when opening and closing um, when you have heavy pressure on your machine. So I like that a lot. I like that a lot. And so far I haven't had any problems with heating and any like bad readings, but you know, like, like I did on this one, but we'll, we'll do a test in a second to see how accurate the, the um, readout is versus what the platen reads, okay? So um, those are the overview. That's the overview of the two presses and the things I like and the things I dislike about both of them. Okay, so overall, what's more important to me? The most important thing to me right now is the fact that uh, the things that are, stand out to me. The, I would rather go with this press, two reasons, the gauge and the main reason is that I absolutely hated about this press was my clothes getting snagged. Clothes getting snagged was a total deal breaker. This doesn't have that problem. This has a digital gauge and this is less expensive. So if you don't mind hearing that loud noise when you slide your tray in and out, then this is the press for you. If you're on a, on a, still on a slight budget, this is the press for you, right? Um, if you just want something look, looks nice, but your clothes might get snagged, cost more money, uh, handle underneath here, which I don't like, then this is the press. I, I, honestly, I can't tell anybody to buy this press. I would rather go with this press. L listen to the build quality too. It's a lot more solid. So that's a good thing. A lot less solid. But in this case, sometimes you get what you pay for, but in this case, I like the, in the more inexpensive one better. It just makes more sense to me because my clothes won't get snagged and this is a digital readout so I can see it nice and clear, all right? So those are two big things for me that work for me. Oh, and the handle, the handle makes sense where they put it, all right? So those are three huge things that makes me advise you, if I'm saying that right, to go with this press instead of that press. The Wala press, in my opinion, is better than the, um, than the Craft Pro, in my opinion. You guys can leave your comments and what you guys think about both presses in the comments down below and which one you would rather go with. And if you have this one, which I know a lot of people do, let me know if you um, dislike the same things that I dislike about it. 
Um, if you have the while I press, let me know if I have valid points about the loud sound that the drawer makes, which isn't, I don't mind it, but it is a thing. Some people, that's a thing to some people, so, right? So we got to discuss it. But other than that, everything else is good. The build quality is a little bit, you know, lacking, but look, the price is what it is. It's very inexpensive compared to this. And, um, and you get what you pay for sometimes, but you get a good quality press with a slide out drawer. In my opinion, this is better than this. All right, now let's test the heating element, guys. Let's test the heating elements of both of these presses. A-Dub Productions. All right, guys, we got our Kraft Pro um, holding strong at 250 degrees. We're gonna do the first test on the heat gun right here. We're gonna go directly in the center, right? Uh, I already pressed it once. Let's do it again. Directly in the center. We got 253 degrees, 0.9. Looking good. Let's go on the side. All right. 251. That's good. 251.7. Let's go on the bottom. Make sure all the entire platen is heating up pretty good. 245.4. Hmm, a little off, that's okay. These things, you know, fluctuate. All right, 249.9. Once again, up top of the other, other side this time. 252.1 for good measure. Let's get the middle again. 255.3. Side once more, make sure it wasn't a fluke. See, as I'm moving it around, it's changing temperatures all the way in the corner. It's gonna be colder, all right? This makes sense, all right? So we still get like a 240, 232 as I move it around. So that's fair, that's fair, that makes sense. Okay, so in the middle, most important part, 255.5, not bad. Let's go over to our wild out press and see what we're getting over there. Ada Productions. All right, boys and girls. So now we have our Wala press holding strong at 250 degrees. Just a random degrees I picked, guys. Let's do the first heat gun test. 250 is supposed to be. We got 266. Wow, that's uh, significantly over. <laughs> significantly over, guys. So yeah, supposed to be 250. Got 266. Side. 270. <laughs> um, all right, bottom, 255, 259, 269.7, and once again in the middle, 266.3. Guys, um, uh, the temperature's all over on the Wild Out Press, guys, to be honest with you. Um, fully transparent, 271. But I'll tell you what, I still prefer this press. Um, you guys are going to have to make this decision up yourself, but 269.9. I still prefer this press just because it's, it's budget friendly. Heating elements are obviously different, but um, hey, it is what it is. So far, I've had no problems with this. At least you know it's going to heat up, right? This one, I had problems, um, problems pressing stuff because, I don't know. I haven't had any problems with this yet, but I'll keep you guys posted as I continue to use it on the channel, guys. But one more time. Kind of unbelievable. 271.9. Two sixty-five, two seventy-four. What does it say on the gauge? It says two hundred and fifty on the gauge. Two hundred fifty degrees Fahrenheit. Two seventy-two. I don't know what kind of heating element this is right here. What type of material this is, but 
the coils in the back, whatever this is, heats up like crazy. So uh, it is what it is, guys. You're gonna have to make this decision up yourself. Ada Productions. All right, guys, there you have it. We have the Heat Press Nation Craft Pro versus the Heat Transform Warehouse Wala Press. I told you guys what my opinion was, what I preferred. Heat trans warehouse, while I press, that's what I would advise you to do, do um, go for it every single time. Um, less expensive, right? Your clothes won't get snagged. Digital readout. And you get the handle. Huge wins. If you don't mind the handle being tucked underneath, if you don't mind your clothes possibly getting snagged, if you don't mind the analog readout, and you don't mind spending more money, I don't know, it's a lot of, lot of bads for me, a lot of cons for me, but over here, just one con, build quality, loud noise. Other than that, great press, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, instagram.com backslash Productions. Don't forget to visit the merch store, buy yourself some channel merch, help support the channel. AlanAWade.com is the merch store, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, facebook.com backslash productions, facebook.com backslash kingadub are both of my pages. You guys can leave pictures and comments and concerns and questions all on my Facebook pages. Or you can hit me up on Instagram, productions on Instagram, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's your boy, Alan Wade. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Happy New Year if I don't talk to you guys before the New Year's, but most likely I'll go live and talk to you guys then. So it's your boy. I'll talk to you guys. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. While I listen to the rest, when you're rocking with the best, baby.